to fix the security issues on our U.S. military bases. Now, for those of you who don't know, military bases are where a bunch of people are in the military and completely disarmed and vulnerable. And you wouldn't think that, but that's true. Now, when they're in Afghanistan or someplace, they're armed to the teeth and can instantly react and blow off a Taliban guy's head. But when they're here, say, in Texas, they are running around completely disarmed and everyone knows it. Even the guys on guard duty with their rifles typically aren't even issued ammunition for fear that they'll accidentally have an accident and hurt somebody, okay? The only people on a military base that are armed are the military police and the regular police that are on the base, in most bases in most cases, okay? So it's ridiculous because as soon as you leave the base, everyone here in Texas, for instance, can have a concealed carry license or keep a gun in their car. But if you drive onto base, you can't do that. So it causes real problems with people who live on bases and are in the military who go on and off and all that. They just, they gotta be disarmed and be basically victims when they're here in the U.S. and it's, it's repulsive to me and I'm offended. Now, I have an idea on how to beef up the security on the bases. It doesn't cost anything and it's real easy to implement and do. Uh, you have uh, the higher-ups pass down an order saying that anyone who is an NCO, a non-commissioned officer, or is an officer can petition their uh, command structure if they have a concealed carry license to carry on base. What does that mean exactly? I used to use a whole bunch of things that a lot of you probably don't get if you haven't been in the military. That means your officers and your sergeants and your drill sergeants and your staff sergeants and your first sergeants, all the people who are in charge of people who have lots of people underneath them. So basically think of it like management. Military management can conceal carry. And just to be safe, they actually have to go to their boss and their boss's boss and get clearance to carry before they do it in case they have some PTSD problems, they can deny them. So, you know, I'm, let's say I'm Sergeant Nathan and I've got 12 years under my belt, multiple combat tours, I got, you know, tons of ribbons and everything. I go to my first, uh, my, uh, first lieutenant and say, I got a concealed carry, I want a concealed carry, here's my request. He takes it to the captain. Captain, Sergeant Nathan wants to conceal carry. Captain goes, Sergeant Nathan is a badass, he can conceal carry, okay? Then later on, another guy comes up and they say, uh, okay, we have Sergeant Lunatic requesting to carry. And the captain's like, oh man, doesn't he have, isn't he seeing the docs about PTSD right now? Isn't he on medications and stuff and got into a fight not too long ago with someone over laundry? Oh yeah, Sergeant Lunatic did do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's not clear him to carry until he's had a little more time and gone through some treatment and we get some better reports on him. Okay, that's how the military works. It's so easy in military standards to do that sort of thing. It's just another thing they would do in all the other paperwork they push and things that they allow and don't allow different people to do. I mean, it's just the simplest thing to pass down that order to say, okay, the responsible people who are in charge and in management should be able to conceal carry because they're higher ups. Now, you know, I feel bad for the privates and the corporals, but maybe they can bust their butts and get moved up the ladder to where they can carry someday. But for now, I think it's the easiest solution to get more responsible people armed on base to protect, not only from a shooter, but it's a smart idea to have them be able to protect against other things like attacks and terrorism and things like that that might happen here domestically or something, you know, without having to go and uh, drive 10 miles to get to an armory to get armed if an emergency occurs. So that's my idea for an easy solution. Your opinion may differ, but uh, that's just what I think. So have a good one.